Hello everyone. This is Thursday, May 19th, 2022. At 10.45 a.m. And it is 14 degrees Celsius. I am in the just beginning in the south end of Halifax. And a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Sunny all day, gonna hit. I think somewhere is up around 16, 17, 18 maybe. Gonna be a nice warm day anyways down here. So I am on the south end on Barrington Street. To be precise, I'm at 1360 Barrington Street in the south end of Halifax. Haven't been down here walking around for a while, so thought this might be a nice day for that. I'm happy there's no wind because I can talk low. I don't have to talk loud trying to drown out the the wind noise and stuff. So we got a great day today. My goal is to make a couple of videos because, as you know, Saturday is when I'm leaving for Toronto. I can hardly wait. It's, we've been back here four years and now we're going back up for a week. So, wonderful, wonderful. Can hardly wait. Don't worry, I'm going to show you guys lots of videos from my trip when I get back. There is Morris Street. I've been on that street several times. You can go down the waterfront that way and you go right up past the university and all that stuff up that way. But today we're neither going east or west, we're going south. So I hope you're enjoying this nice sunshiny day today in, in the south end of Halifax because I am enjoying this, getting out here and making a video today on a nice warm sunny day with no wind, like it's just, just perfect. These are the kind of days that makes you want to get out. This is the day you can wear shorts and you don't have to worry about being cold. Believe it, I tried it one day and it was windy and it wasn't much fun. Today's good. Today is a great day to wear your summer clothes today. I still got my denim jacket on, but I may take that off later. We'll see. Mostly I'm wearing it for the pockets. 
got lots of pockets in it. I can carry my wallet, my phone, my all my other things they need to carry, my keys, whatever. If I take my coat off, then I'm going to not have much for pockets. So unless it gets super hot, it's only 14 degrees, so I think I can handle having my jacket on. There's the Peace and Friendship Park right over on that corner. And we're at South Street, which again goes right up to the campus area. And over that way is the Western Hotel and the CN station. And a bus station, but I think we got one train a week going out of there. One train goes to Montreal and it comes it goes out one day and comes in a different day. So that's not really super busy and I don't think the buses even run here anymore anymore. So not talking about the city buses, I'm talking about the highway coaches. I think that I think it's done away with. I haven't seen a bus in that station over there for a long time, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think I heard something like that. That there's they, the, 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 there's no buses running now. I know in Toronto they 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 tore down the bus station. They, they, they uh, I think it's tore down. They stopped the buses. There's no Greyhound anymore. They're gone. Who would ever think you'd see a day when Greyhound would be no more? There's no Greyhound buses up in Ontario anymore. And there's no Voyager buses. Go back. Can you imagine? I just even can't even imagine that that day would ever come, but here we are. I think when the COVID hit and, and everybody stopped traveling, <clears throat> that's what that's what did it. That's what did them in. Was, was the, they couldn't keep operating and paying for all the expenses when they weren't making the money, so <clears throat> they bit the dust. I'd like to see something go in right here. It looks like they might have done some shoveling here recently. So possibly something's gonna happen here. We are going right down the south end as far as you can go today in the south end. Green Street, Green in Barrington, still on Barrington Street, which we will be until the end of it. But Barrington Inn's not too far from here. Uh, 
I see a ship sliding up through there. Not sure what it is, but could be a military ship, maybe. I may, I may stop, I may stop over there later, but not right now. I like going there, but not right now. I want to get this video done first. Then we'll see. I'm aiming for two videos today. I have to because I'm going to be away for a few days. So I have to get a couple of videos ahead. So you folks won't be looking for videos, and there's no video up there. You're going to say, what happened to Halifax Walker? He got no video today. So that's why I'm out. I'm going to make a couple today, and then i got to take stock of what I have and see if I have enough to get me by until I get back. Well, one way or the other, we'll get through it. Yeah, I made it through COVID when I had when I when I had to make videos, and I I, th I might have missed one one day out of it. But I went out walking, even though well, I was allowed to go one hour a day for exercise, as long as I didn't come in contact with anybody. So I took that one hour and went out and made a video, and I stayed up with it. And I I still remember I made one video right from my bedroom looking down at the street and stuff like that, talking. I made a video anyways and got through it. Let's walk through this little park here. Just a tiny little park, but it's in memory of somebody who was killed in the city for trying to break up a fight and they turned on him and Anyways, Raymond Taval Park was named after the guy. Uh, so anyways, his, he lived from 62 to 2012, kind of a short life. So anyways, yeah, I will always like to mention that when I come by here. It's one of those things that happened in Shouldn't have happened, but did. So I hate to make mention of that. And most of our parks here in Halifax are named after somebody. There's the garage where I get a lot of my work done right there. <clears throat> All right, once I can get across the street here, well, kind of tricky on this turn because I don't want to get hit by a car, trying to get across. So we're just gonna wait till I get the right opportunity to get across here, which I believe might be now. There we go, we'll make her. All right, we are across. This is just a little short dead end street and I don't even know if we got a name. I didn't see any street sign here. There's like one, two, three, three or four, three or four houses on this street. The dead end street. And that one might be considered on this street, possibly. And maybe it's even Barrington. Maybe it's the tail end of Barrington. I know they, they got that turn there right there and then they cut down in here. But it probably, that's why there's no sign. It's probably still Barrington. It's like, very end of Barrington, if, if this is Barrington Street. I think it is. So, we are going to take a tunnel. 
under the railroad tracks this morning. I got an idea where I might be going. I was half thinking about maybe going to Point Pleasant Park, walking around. You want to do that? Sounds like a good idea. All right, let's 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 go to Point Pleasant Park today. Be a bit of a walk. I'll probably make two videos out of it because that'd be too long for one video. It would take me the length of one video just to get to the park, and then a second one to do the park. So that's probably what we'll do. So here we go, down through the tunnel. Going right under the Canadian National Railway track. It's a shortcut. If I'm right here and I want to go to Point Pleasant Park, this is the absolutely quickest way to get here, is through this tunnel. It saves off a lot of time if you had to whoop around. I didn't know about it the first time I walked it. And I walked from that Tim Hortons back there all the way up around. And then behind the train station and down that way. When I could have just come right through here and saved a whole lot of walking. How long is this tunnel? Let me see, just in case you're wondering. I say it's about 100 feet. 100 feet in here. Maybe, maybe 120. Something like that, 130 feet maybe. So between 100 and 130 feet. Okay, there we are up the other side. I'll just turn around now so you can see the, there you go, pedestrian walkway. Motorcycle prohibited. That tunnel was built in 1935. And there's the train track up above that we just walked under. The train, right there, okay? We are down in the port, port of Halifax. Mission to seafarers. This is the Halifax port. You can see the uh, cranes over there. And there's different spots where ship comes in depending on what they uh, are bringing in. This overhead right here is for grain. See all those tanks over there store, store grain of different kinds that come from farms and places. And they come in off of boats too. If they come in on a ship, they're gonna get travel through pipes along that closed in way there and stored in those tanks. And then when trucks come in here to get loaded, they load from those tanks. And there's the security office right there. You don't want to step in line in here or those boys will be after you. This container terminal down here used to be called Hall Term, but it's not now, so I don't know what it's actually called anymore. It's just Halifax. Container terminal, South End Container Terminal, or what it's called, I'm not sure. But it used to be called Hall Term and it's uh, changed its name from then. Those grain storage places, that's a big operation in there in itself. This, this port takes it up, a big area down here. It's mostly containers. I don't think there's too much other than bulk and containers in here.
there's a ship over there now being either loaded or unloaded. I think unloaded because I think I see the crane swinging up there to pick up another container off the ship. Yes, the, the, the crane is unloading that ship. If you just watch, you'll see them pick one up there in a minute. There he goes right now. Not yet. I would imagine they have the crew uh, working up there because those, those things all lock together so they won't spill in rough seas. So somebody would have to be up there un unhooking them, I would imagine. It's not instant. Somebody's got to unhook them. So I guess they're doing both. They're loading and unloading at the same time. Remember I told you about the, the grain and stuff that comes in here? Well, this is a flower, flower place. Looks like they make flour here out of wheat that comes in on these train cars and then they load these trucks up. These trucks, if that's, if that's flour in those tanks, which probably is, it says PH Milling Group, that would be going like to bakeries, like a large bakery. They take a whole tank of uh, flour at, at a time and things like that. The dust flying out of that. Oh, here we go. There's the sign. See in Halifax Ocean Terminal Yard. 588 Marginal Road. Okay. Halifax Ocean Terminal Yard. H-O-T-Y. Maybe they call it hottie. <laughs> I don't know. Halifax Ocean Terminal Yard. And I see a sign up here that says PSA Halifax. Atlantic Hub PSA. I'm not sure what that stands for. Another look at the cranes. From here.
those trucks over there are all waiting to go in and get unloaded. I used to drive in here when I was a truck driver. I'm retired from it now. I used to come in here. And they hold you right there until they're ready for you. You drive in there and swing your pins around that's holding your trailer from coming off of the chassis. You have to get those all open so when you go in, the crane can pick up your your trailer because if you don't unhook them, they'll pick you right up and drop you. So you, you better make sure you got them unhooked before you go in. So that's what they do. They drive in here. They have to sit and wait before they get told where to go. And while you're waiting, you unhook your, your pins in your trailer from the chassis so they can pick it up when you drive in. Yeah, I've made a few trips into this place myself when I was driving. I only stopped driving four years ago when I retired and can't really say I miss it. I always said about trucking, by the time you learned enough so you did it comfortably, you were tired of it. But when you first start driving, it's very stressful because you're a greenhorn, you don't know enough. And over the years, years, there's nothing like experience. Over the years, you gather little bits of experience and information, how to do this, how to do that, how to do something else. Learning your way around places, and all that experience makes your job go really easy. So by the time you get to that point, you're, you're, you're not excited about it anymore. It's just a job. And if most people, when they retire from it, are like me, they don't miss it. They don't miss it at all. I don't miss it. I enjoyed it when I was doing it, but I don't miss it. Wouldn't go back to it. I could. I could still drive if I want to. There's no reason. I just retired because I was... I went to uh, 67. People used to retire at, at 65. I went to 67. So, you know, I will be... 71 on my birthday this summer, July. So, that's soon to be four years. I've been at it, and no, I don't miss it. And I'd like to say for all my viewers that maybe haven't seen the video since, that I had my cataract surgery on my worst eye, and I can see really good now. I'm still going through the putting drops in and stuff. I got one more week of putting drops in. I have to, I'm down to twice a day now. In the first half of the surgery, you have to put drops in four times a day and two different kinds for the first week. Then four times a day, one kind for the next week again. In the last two weeks, you're down to twice a day on just one kind. So I've got one week in on that, so i got one more week left to go. And then I won't have to put the drops in no more. Then i just got to wait to be called for my second eye, which isn't nearly as bad as the first one. The first eye was the, was the bad one. So I'm so thankful I got that fixed. That's clear and sharp and nice. And I have had no problems since my surgery. They watch you really close because they say you can get a nasty infection from eye surgery. 
and getting cataracts off. Cataract surgery itself was a very small thing. I wasn't even asleep to get it. I was watching everything. I was, I was right there with them the whole time, talking, listen, listen. I could hear everything they say. And it was, it was great. I even watched the, the. I could see when they slid the cataract off of my eye. They pulled it off. I could see uh, the thing sliding across, and then I got a bright vision. Then they put a lens in. I watched that lens slide in, and it was good. The surgery in itself is nothing, but you really, really, really got to be careful not to get an infection, and don't rub your eye. And it's very hard not to because your whole life you rub your eye, you scratch your ears, you, you, you know, you do all these things, but you can't rub your eye. So they give you a, a kind of like a mesh thing. You tape over it, your eye. So you won't accidentally rub it at night when you're sleeping. And you put that on at night for the first week. And I went a little more than the first week. I went about a week and a half. And then I stopped putting it on at night. And over time, it just starts feeling better and getting better, and you you relax a little bit, and you can touch it gently, and you have to wipe out. You get this white stuff forms in your eye, and it gathers in the corner of your eyes mostly. You just take a worn piece of toilet paper and gently wipe it, and you can wipe that stuff into your eye. They show you. They tell you what to do when they when you get eye eye surgery. So, anyways, yeah, that's that's my my eye surgery. Everything's going great. I got to go back for one more examination. They started to set me up an appointment, and that was right when I was going to Ontario. So I had to correct them, and they said they'll wait till after I come back from Ontario, and then they'll check me again. And I would say after this time going in to see the doctor, that'll probably be it until I get my next uh, call from the other eye. I've already been measured for my lens for the other eye, so I don't think I have to do that stuff over again. So it's just waiting to be called. That's all. And then when I'm all healed up from the other eye, I'm gonna do an eye test. Just to see if I, I know it's not 100% because my eyes weren't 100% before I got the cataracts. So having the cataracts off will fix the cataract problem, but you still got your eye problem you had. So I wore glasses before I wore three lenses in it. I had one for reading and one for medium distance and then one for driving, looking down the road. And Halifax Seaport, what they call this right here. This Maybe that's what we'll just call it then. Instead of, it's not hall time anymore, I guess it's Halifax Seaport. So oh, we'll go across. This is part of uh, the park right here. But we'll go down to the main entrance because I'm going to end this video at, at, the, at the park. And the second video will be walking around in the park. Because it's too long for one video. Yeah, I think about 40, 40 some minutes. Yeah. And I'm not there yet, so. That's my plan. That way I'll get two videos today. I have one walking over from the south end. This is in the south end, but this is this is the south tip of it. So we're walking from south end to to from Barrington Street to They call that Point Pleasant Park. There we go. 
White Pleasant Park. So that's why I'll call my video, walking from Barrington Street to Point Pleasant Park. And then we'll do another one in the park, which I'm looking forward to because it's always nice to take a walk in the park on a sunny day. It's a bit of a walk down here, like the park's right in there, but this isn't the, this isn't the main gate to the park. You could probably walk in that way if you want to, but that's not the gate. That you just have to walk in through there and, and get into the park. But that the the main entrance is down here. And for the purposes of this video, I want you to see the main entrance to Point Pleasant Park. There's a big parking lot down here, so if you bring your car, parking does not cost anything at Point Pleasant Park. It's free. Halifax believes in free parking. A lot of times it's free. And then like we get our, our parking I, on the weekends is free here. And I think at night, that's to encourage people to come downtown and visit the restaurants and things. And, and they don't charge you for parking. And they don't charge you for parking on Saturday and Sunday. So a lot of cities do. The main entrance is just down there, but it's close enough. Harbor Lookoff. I'm not sure what that means. I guess you can climb up that and see the harbor, I don't know. Uh, okay, here we go, 53 Point Pleasant Drive, Point Pleasant Park, a civic historic park. There we go. Dogs are allowed, you can see dogs are allowed. Yeah, no drones in here. This is a drone free area because of the, the container terminal and port and stuff. They want, drones aren't allowed down here. We're not exactly at the main gate just yet. I don't know if there's gates there, but there's just the main entrance. That wasn't it right there. Like we are inside the park now, but the main entrance is down here, which I'm gonna walk down. So you'll see where it is. You'll see the parking lot with the... You've got a big parking lot down here at the park. And then you walk into the park from there. As I expected, there'd be a little bit of a breeze down here because we're right by the ocean. We'll take a look at that too. Be... There's about the last of the harbor. A little bit more and you're heading right out to the right out to sea there, so. Main entrance is just down here. 
which we can take this gravel road because it's the same thing. They're going to meet where that car is going up through there. This road's going to meet right up there. So I might as well go that way. And I'm going to end this video down here somewhere. So I'm going to go right over on this bench and sign off on this video because we are in Point Pleasant Park now. And then I'm going to get set up for my next video. There we go. Sit down on this bench. Take it easy here for a minute and we'll sign off. Okay. This is a 40... 41 minutes, I believe. 41, 42 minutes long. So, this concludes our first video walking from Barrington Street to Point Pleasant Park. And if you enjoyed this video, be nice to push that that thumbs up sign there for me. I see a dog coming. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> cute little doggy. Anyways, as I was saying, and if you're not yet a subscriber, it'd be great if you'd uh, become a subscriber, and I could add you to my list of subscribers. And every video I make, you'll you'll be one of the first to see it. And with that, I hope you're having a great day, having as much fun as I am, having a great day, take care, be safe, and we'll see you all on the next video by Halifax Walker.